due to unforeseen circumstances, Sal could not be here today. Sal served as a Lance Corporal in the United States Marine Corps in 1967 at the early age of 19. He is also a Vietnam veteran. It is my honor and privilege to share his story. I will read them in Sal's eyes. I'm sharing the podium with my colleagues, Dayo and Joe. There is a story behind this that I would like to share. It is a story that bridges a spectrum of one's goodness, the love of family, sacrifice, and commitment. The week prior to Veterans Day, I was approached by Dayo inquiring if there was a veterans organization that I knew of where he could donate his wife's collection of new military items comprised of hats, patches, bumper stickers, pins, and lanyards. I mentioned I would be attending the annual Veterans Day ceremony at the Marin County Civic Auditorium, and perhaps that would be the perfect form for the donation. Concurrently, Joe was participating in the Petaluma Annual Veterans Day Parade and volunteered to distribute the other collection of hats. In all, there must have been close to 150 hats in addition to the other items mentioned earlier. If the story ended here, it would be a good story about giving back to our veterans for their service to our country. The hidden story is that Deo's wife, Cynthia, is ill and can no longer provide her support to the veterans at the several VA hospitals in the Bay Area. She is in the Philippines receiving care and the family decided to donate her merchandise. The following pictures are of grateful veterans receiving this wonderful donation. Both Joe and I asked that they first read the posters we, were, we prepared prior to selecting their items. Many of these combat hardened veterans had tears in their eyes knowing the circumstances of her gift. From this grateful veteran, thank you, Deo and Cynthia, for your generous gifts to all that serve. Joe shares the same sentiments. He was with his father-in-law in Petaluma, who served with the Air Force in Vietnam. So when you see Sal when he returns, please thank him, and please thank all of our veterans for you that are here at work, for your families, and for your friends, and those in active service. Um, from my personal point of view, it was an amazing experience. Um, it's really about humanity. It's really about those um, that have served and giving the love back to them. Uh, it was very interesting to feel, I mean, if I could, if I could bring this box of feeling that I had uh, that day, a simple hat, a simple lanyard, a simple pin meant so much to these veterans and soldiers. So again, when you see a veteran and sell when he comes back, please thank him. Um, I'd like to also now bring up Ryan Sobel to the podium, please. Thank you, <clears throat> thank you Joe. Um, Veterans Day, and you've heard me talk about this <clears throat> over the years, is very important because we thank our uh, fellow citizens for doing something a lot of us haven't had the opportunity to do, and that is serve in uh, uniform. Uh, but to give you a little bit of perspective about veterans in the United States, uh, there are, uh, the veteran community is now shrinking. There are less than 18 million today, less than 400,000 of those uh, veterans are alive out of 16 million. Uh, during Sell's time in Vietnam, all the veterans um, that have uh, come before us um, and, and some who are no longer with us from the Vietnam era, uh, that number is now down to six million. And in the, since the Gulf War, there are about seven million veterans. So you can see that the, the, the numbers are shrinking. But there are still people like Cynthia who remember the veterans on November 11th every year. Uh, and her, uh, the thing that she wanted to do was give back, as we all should give back to veterans. And so 
Joe up in Petaluma and, uh, and, and the effort in, uh, it, at the Marin Civic Center where I, I actually attended the ceremony and saw the display was extraordinary. You know, all of us give back in a different way, but it's really special to give back uh, to veterans because of their service to our great nation. Um, Cell is a special guy. I, I know a story very well from uh, Vietnam, and he thinks about veterans all the time, and he prepared uh, a, a plaque that Joe and I are going to, to give to Dale uh, in behalf of Cell and all veterans, but really to recognize the wonderful, wonderful work of, of Dale and Cynthia, who, as uh, Joe mentioned, is now in the Philippines. And, uh, and all we can say is thank you. So why don't we call up Dale. If he's here, where's Dale? Uh, on behalf of all of us, and to you, and especially Cynthia, thank you.